Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to CC Learning English. Thank you very much for subscribing for more lessons. Sharing is the gift and best communication. In the previous lesson, we had learned don't do it if you don't clear about six type of presentation. And today, CC Learning will be changed a topic. And the new topic is talking about how to study morphologies. So, how to study morphology. If anyone you don't clear, stick around with me together. But before we go deep into this lesson, I would like you someone that who not subscribe me yet. Please take subscribe to get more and hit on the bell to turn on navigation to get more lesson first. Okay, anyway, we going to there. I have once more idea to talking about. I have the list of link about healthy and fitness in this video description. If you have any problem with your healthy, if you want to be a good healthy looking, you can to click the link below and to find it out the products that you want to buy. Okay, that is I have to add. So don't waste the time and now we go ahead to our lesson. Okay, here we go. All right, welcome to CC Learning English again. And in the previous lesson, we talking about don't do it if you don't clear about six type of presentation. And today, CC Learning English would like to see one more topic. They're talking about uh, morphologies. All right. So that is the way easy easy way to learn morphology with me. Okay. Here we go. So, and the first, I would like to show you about content layouts content layout it means that's uh, something i would like to tell you about the lesson that we are going to learn together okay so the definition of the morphology all right so that is the first uh, content layout and the second is the term of morphology and third why do we need to learn morphology why so i will tell you the reason why we do in this video if you want to know you stick around until the end of the video you will clear about why do we learn do we need to learn morphology right and the last one is the structure of morphologies so structure is mean that a frame or we can say a frame of structure, a frame of morphology, or structure of morphology. Yes. So, and now we're going to have the learning outcome. So, every uh, my video lesson, I always tell my student or the learner understanding what about uh, benefit or advantage of this video. So learning outcomes number one is understanding the definition of morphology. So the second is identify the term of morphology. And third, understanding the advantages of learning morphology. And next, understand the structure of morphologies. And the last one is improvement of morphology in linguistic uh, in uh, linguistic in English. So that is all and come. If you stick around until end, you will get all of them. Okay, here we go to a definition of morphology. So in the first time, I always to uh, show you about uh, content layout and I talking so what is morphologies so definition morphology so morphology is study of internal structure of words or forms a core part of linguistic 
study today. So that is that definition of morphology. Number two, morphology is the subs of linguistic. It means the subs uh, subject. It means the subject of linguistic. So it means that, uh, or we can say that the morphology is a French of linguistic and the linguistic is a branches of a language so we can say like that because everything we have a uh, connect flow from the top to down so look like language and we go into next linguistic and linguistic we go to divide into a morphology or syntax or uh, semantic so that is we always connect each other but this point I just show you about definition of morphology so morphology is the study of the internal structure words and forms a core of core parts of the linguistic study today and the second is morphology is the sub subjects of the linguistic and we can say that the linguistic is a franchise of language so that is definition of morphology i hope you get it and thank you for you uh, subscribe for my channel and we're going to the next more about okay here we go so the terms morphology so what is term and what is morphology term is mean the words or lexis of morphology okay so the term of morphology is divided in two. One is a morph, right? First is morph. We divide in two, two morph. So morph it means that morph is a word from the Greek language that means forms or shape of anything. So morphy is the word come from the Greek language that mean form or shape of anything or we can say a physical thing that is the something that we can touch that is we can call a physical or shape okay so the next is logis so what is logi a logi it means that logi is a term is a suffix Yes, a subfix it means what is a subfix? A subfix it means uh, uh, something that we add at the end of the 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 basic words or root word to make a more a different meaning. So look like a logic is logic is sorry logic sorry logic is the term is a subfix of the word that refer to the subjects which we studying or oh sorry which we study in this institute school or university so you always heard about um, technology it means that uh, the subject we learn about technique uh, electronic or internet or computer and geograph uh, sorry not geography and uh, phonology so we heard about uh, the mean that the, the subject that we learned about sound or the, about the phone of the of the world so you all always heard about logi so right and logi it mean that uh, uh, subject that we learn okay so when the words combine together netherized morphology is the study of internal structure of words and forms a core part of the linguistics study to today so that is a strat that is the term of morphology you remember the term of morphology divide into parts the first part is the morph and the second is logic so what is a logic Logi is the subject where we that we learn and morphs it means that we study about the forms of the world or the shape of the of the world. So it is the called the term of morphology. Alright. So I hope you understand this point and don't waste the time.
we go into the next steps so the next step is talking why do we need to learn morphology why so why do we need to learn morphology when we do something we always ask yourself about why I do like this and why I do like that why I learn English why I have to learn morphology why do we need to learn morphology so when you ask like that the question will become up with your friend uh, with your brand the brand will working and analyze why to tell you okay so this is the reason that we need to learn morphology okay so reason number one the the internal structure of words and the segmentation into different kinds of morphemes is is in tall to the two basic purposes or phonologies so that is the reason number one to why do we need study morphology or learn morphology so the second reason the create send of a new words create send of a new word so that is the reason number five that link to why do we need to learn morphology the third reason the modification of existing word to create a new word out of the old word once all the time so this we need to learn because a new word come up from the old ones all right and the last reason here you can read the most about how word degradation is studied so it means that we learn morphology because we want to create thing one more thing and we understand about from the old world and we can to reform the old world to be a new world so that is all kind all the reason that why do we need to learn morphology so this point is talking about reason why do we need to learn morphology all right so i hope you get it and you understand it and we go to the next one so the next one is just only talking about the structure of morphologies when we talking about of the structure or structure of morphology we have to understand what is the structure the structure it's mean the frame of the morphology so what is that so that is the core that a learner have to listen carefully because when we learn about something that something always we have the connected look like I add you about and to so call a big circle so it's connect to the small small to connect to other small other small connect to other one so that is the connected so I add like this to be a structure or structure of frames of morphology okay so the morphology we into the morpheme right and the morpheme divide into a free morpheme and bound morpheme so what is the free morpheme and what is the bound morpheme I'm sorry for you everybody I will make you more lesson about morpheme because today I just talking about morphology all right so don't confusing we just learn a little bit and a little bit and a little bit slow slow but we make a currently very very good remember okay and a free morpheme we divide into a lexical morpheme so what is a lexical morpheme the next video if you want to know you subscribe and hit uh, the bell to get uh, to turn on navigation to get every the lesson that I posted on 
around uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or sun Sunday. Uh, or yes, Sunday. That I always post the my video. Okay, so the next is a functional morphine. So that is what is a functional morphine. Next video, and the bound morphine we divide into derivational morphine and second to inflectional morphine, and the last one is affixis morphine. I don't add a, a morphine, but I just affix it. All right. So this way, the uh, the the way normal the way normal frame is divided into the classic chain, and one more is classic maintaining. All right. So what is classic chain and what is maintaining? The next video is for you. And affix is morphine we divide into prefix. So what is a prefix? It's next video. And the infix and the last one is suffix. So that is called all the structure of morphology. So in this video, I'm sorry for detail all about, but I just make a frame of morphology to make you to imagine your friend and you think oh the first time we talking about morphology and the next time I talking about morpheme the next time I will talking about uh, free morpheme and the next time I will talking about bond morpheme and the next time I will talking about derivational morpheme, freak morpheme and affixis morpheme blah 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 so that is I will make the video for you to understand about morphology alright so the last one I would like to say is thank you very much for takes a while your time to watching and subscribe uh, to my channel to get some more lesson if you think that this video is a uh, useful for you you have to send to some people who you love